All right, let's go. John chapter 1 verse 14 states the following. The Word became a man and lived among us. The Word became a man and lived among us. We saw His divine greatness, the greatness that belongs to the only Son of the Father. The Word was full of grace and truth. I want you to see this. All right. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. And when we celebrate Christmas, we are talking about the Word, Jesus Christ, becoming a man. And why is Jesus referred to as the Word all the time? In John chapter 1, he mentions it a lot about Jesus being the Word. Because Jesus Christ is the demonstration of who God is. He is the Word. In other words, when you see Jesus, you see everything about God the Father. It's as if God told you something. If Jesus, if you see the Son, you see the Father. If you see the Father, you see the Son. You know, in Afrikaans, there's this saying, the apoletti fair from the boom of Gefaldi. I love that saying. In other words, you, you look just like the, the one that you, you, you came from. All right, so I want to say that Jesus Christ, He is the example of who we follow. He is the personification or the, the human form of what God is. And so when we come to Christmas, we must understand that Jesus, the Son of God, took on a human form to give us an example. So whatever Jesus did, you can do. In fact, he makes statements. He said, you're going to do greater things than this anyway. So we must understand that Jesus is our example. We follow him. Paul makes a statement, follow me as I follow Christ. So wherever we go, we've got a human example of what should happen and how it should happen. But remember this. Before we can operate in that example. Because remember the example we have was Jesus Christ. Full of the Holy Spirit and power. So we could not get the Holy Spirit and power. Until Jesus Christ died. So Jesus Christ came for two major roles. Number one was to demonstrate what we should be doing and how to do it. And number two was to become the sacrifice so that we could practice what he showed us. Because he had to die and pay the price so that he could win the, the earth back, or right, the authority back, so that he could release the Holy Spirit on each and every individual, just like he did. So when we come to Christmas, we are seeing something very, very important. Christmas is a demonstration of God on this earth. It's the start of it. It's where... The Word became flesh. We, the Word, Jesus, became a man. And we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And this birth is what totally sets a new era. When Jesus Christ came, an entire army of angels were ready to celebrate. And so this morning, I want to challenge us. Are you ready to celebrate Christmas? Are you ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ? Now I say this many times because I often get hammered on this. Jesus was not born on the 25th of December. He was born in September. Okay. But this is the day that we set aside to, to genuinely think about this. To focus on Jesus' birth and to celebrate together. 
I'm all for celebrating. Because we need to take a time where we stop everything and we focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. If you come to my house on Christmas, Jesus is the focus. The gifts and that we appreciate and you know, it's just part of tradition or whatever. But I'll tell you what, Jesus Christ is the focus. Because he came and he changed history. So today I want to say this. Are you prepared to say, God, you sent Jesus to be the example. I'm prepared to practice what he told me to do. The word became flesh to show you what to do. When you see Jesus, you see the Father. So on the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so right now, as we come around the table, let us celebrate the price that was paid for you. But let us make a commitment to follow the example that was given to us in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, or intention. But Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that as we come before you, Lord, that we will genuinely understand that you became flesh for us so that you could be an example to us. And that you paid the sacrifice so that we could be saved. Lord, I pray that we will be obedient. And Lord, that we will do what you've called us to do. And we thank you for what you've done in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we just release the dynamous power of God. Lord, I thank you that you are moving by your spirit in a mighty way. And Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to do something supernatural in our physical bodies. I command every single symptom to go right now. Thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I want to tell you right now, it's wonderful to be alive and it's even more wonderful to be on holiday. Amen. I trust that you are having a glorious time. As I said, it's four days to Christmas. I want to just make an announcement. Christmas Eve, midnight, Christmas night, we are going to have a service. I'm going to run a service at midnight, so please get ready for that. <coughs> Sorry. And then also... Christmas morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be at Nootuk Ski Boat Club on the beach having a sunrise, the sun would have risen a bit, a, a sunrise Christmas morning, one hour, 6 to 7. I will be back for communion by 9 o'clock, but listen, 6 o'clock, Sunday morning, uh, Christmas morning, I'm going to be at Nootuk Ski Boat Club on the beach. All right, you are welcome to join. We have many people who come out just for that service. Nothing nicer than celebrating the Lord Jesus Christ on a beautiful morning. And the first thing you do before we open any gifts, before we do anything else, we have communion on the beach to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you're in the area, please come and join me. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. It's open to anybody. All right. And so come and join us. Just rock up there with a cup of coffee. I think it's really important that we say this. Bring coffee. It's still a bit chillos in the morning. Nothing nicer than a coffee and a dunk, dunk Oma. You know, okay. Bring your coffee and rusks. 
It's going to be absolutely amazing. So Christmas morning, 6 o'clock, I am going to be at Nootuk Ski Boat Club. All right? That is on Christmas morning. All right. Let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. Sorry, before I do that, let me pray. I forgot to pray. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, I pray over each and every family in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this festive time. I thank you, Lord, that you are ministering into families. But God, I thank you that family is the core and the backbone of our society. And Lord, I pray for families. I pray for unity. I pray for blessing. I pray for prosperity. I pray for protection. Lord, I thank you right now that you're going to do something amazing. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that you love and you care for each and every one. And Lord, I pray for each person in our families. Lord, that they will be blessed and they will prosper in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for a good rest in this season. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All right, let's get to the declaration now. Guys, sorry, I was just so excited about doing a Christmas morning event on the beach. It's just amazing. It's lovely. All right, let's get to it. In Jesus' name, I declare my faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I don't have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. Saints, go out with might, go out with valor, and go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. And remember this, have a wonderful, wonderful festive season. I love you a lot.